Hello and welcome to a Nike Sagama shoe review. Me and Tom have tested these shoes for roughly 500 miles and I used them to complete the spine race. Let's go. So welcome to an Active Ideas video about the Nike Sagamas. Now, this isn't any kind of generic shoe review. This really does have a special place in my heart. I was going through the Hurt House. Yeah, whilst running the spine race, I got to checkpoint five, which was a massive achievement for me. That was 220 miles I'd run, and I still had a long way to go to complete the run. Now, the issue I had is that all my shoes that I'd taken, which is about four pairs, stupidly, was size nine, which is my true to size fit for a shoe. But the issue is that when you been running for like three four five days yeah your feet start to swell up and especially when you're doing a race as as brutal as a spine race if you want to see my feet watch the spine race documentary that i've uploaded but horrific scenes and i couldn't get my feet into any shoes anyway this lovely guy called tom walked over to me he said good job you're doing great i believe in you and I said, I can't get my feet in my shoes, mate. <laughs> I was trying to fit my feet into the new Pegasus that had come out at the time, and I just couldn't get my feet in. And he said, don't worry, mate, you've got this. I've got some Nike trails in my truck. I'll go get them, and hopefully they've got a bit more space in there for you. And he said, what size are you? I said, I'm a size nine. Tom said, that's great. I've got these in size 10. That should be more than enough space. And it really was more than enough space to get my feet in. I put my foot in this shoe and the comfort after running 220 miles putting my feet into these shoes was something I can't describe and all of a sudden that stress went away. But yeah, the spine angels that people talk about, these mysterious people who help you get through that race, Tom was definitely that spine angel for me. I met a lot of spine angels along the way, but this was a significant one. So thank you, Tom, for, for giving me shoes for free. A man in need, no strings attached. He said, here you go, mate. Get this done. I believe in you. That is a very special thing for someone to do. I was just a stranger to him. So yeah, check out Tom's YouTube channel here and also check out his Instagram here. Give him a thumbs up if you can. Send him some love and support from Active Ideas and let's dive into the shoe review. Now, they haven't got the most amount of cushioning in. They've obviously got a Nike Zoom X foam at the bottom. They're probably not the ideal kind of cushioning or even lugs at the bottom for a long distance ultra marathon, like as long as it gets. And I definitely saw, again with the sizing, I probably could have done with a 9.5 in this shoe. What I can definitely say off the bat without kind of diving into the technical specifications, is that they are a very breathable shoe. We were pelted with kind of rain, harsh sun during the day, torrential rain during the night. I also think that they're offering you a lot of warmth as well. Not kind of an overpowering amount of warmth, but just enough kind of warmth for you to thermoregulate your feet yourself. So your body is able to maintain its happy temperature in these shoes. The comfort is definitely there and you can feel it in the heaviness of the shoe, lots of cushioning. In terms of the upper and the cushioning there, it's kind of minimal an almost knitted sock-like fabric at the front and it fades into this cushioning heel as well. The heel counter was very comfortable. Again, I, I ran so many miles in these shoes to complete that race. I also found that the stability was fantastic. I didn't find myself ever tripping over or twisting my ankle. They offered me lots of support and I think that's really good for my Nike shoe because I have struggled with that. Most Nike shoes, Pegasus, Alphafly, Vaporfly, but yeah, even the trail models, I talk about the Wild Horse, and uh, offering a great amount of stability on this channel. Um, you get it in this shoe enough so that when you're tired, you're not going to be hurting yourself. The lacing system is offering you lots of flexibility there. That came in useful when I was wearing a shoe, which was arguably a size to a size and a half up from what I should be wearing or what most people wear. I was able to cinch them down quite tight in the heel. Yeah, some of the details I like on the shoe, it says ex engineered to the exact specifications of trail runners. So, I can attest to that. I really don't have any negativity to say towards this shoe. If it wasn't for this shoe, I wouldn't have been able to finish the best athletic achievement in my life, really. We've got some nice branding on the other side, the Nike Trail branding. Again, it's got Nike Trail on the cushioning here. And it's also got some GPS coordinates. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe the Nike store in America, your longitude and latitude. The Nike Zoom X foam on the other side. And yeah, just an all-round good shoe. So just to conclude, in terms of the shoe, 
very comfortable, very responsive, supportive, durable. It can handle that longer distance and it's not gonna be the best kind of amount of cushioning that you can get. There are other options out there. And in terms of your grip strength as well, again, Nike not being known for their best grip, but it was good enough for me. In terms of durability, the only kind of serious wear I can see is just at the front here where the outer sole curls into the toe area. Yeah, it's just starting to come away a little and yeah, it would have me worried about that. I don't know genuinely how many shoes these have done. I'll message Tom to find out how much miles he ran in them and then I'll add my mileage on top to show you kind of what kind of mileage they've got in them. But apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Nike Saganas, a story close to my heart. Thank you, Tom. Check out his channel here. He uploads to YouTube as well. The dude who gave me these shoes for free, no strings attached. Tom's channel is here. And again, mate, thank you very much. Peace out. So thanks for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment and subscribe if you can. My slogan, dreams are a step away. And remember, show compassion, show esteem and have fun out there. Peace out.